Well, folks, yeah, I'm making a little clip, and this is called Arc Citadel, and I'm not sure if this is like a, a place for the Christians or for Muslims. I have not been inside, so we'll go in and find out what this is. It's a very, very old building, definitely looked like, well, it reminds me a little bit of the pyramids, how they were built. So, these high walls, what was the purpose of that, I'm not sure, but this definitely is, the structure of the pillars are almost uh, same all over Samarkand, Bukhara and Uzbekistan, they're all about the same. I see a lot of tourists here. Ticket, get the tickets. And then uh, I'm gonna go over. Is the ticket office? My, yeah, my friends are gonna buy. Four. Lots of people here today. Yeah, so there is a ticket to get inside. And my group, the folks we are traveling with, they're buying the ticket, so I got inside to just make a movie. Uh, artifacts, paintings. Uh, old time stuff. It's all here from I don't know when. They don't give the date. Oh, 10 and 9. So that's, yes, 19th century. 19th century. Some of them are from 19th century. These are little souvenir shops. You know, they are pretty expensive, but I don't mind actually giving them the little money that they really ask for. Nothing's actually more than ten, twenty dollars or something. It's not very expensive, really, over here. So look at the designs, the architecture, typical Muslim design all over the place. A lot of little shops to buy stuff from, as well as the Aladdin's lamp. There is the Aladdin's lamp right here. Yep. And so from here we go back and start looking at uh, uh, the other folks they started to come here take the photo of the Aladdin lamp like I was taking and uh, boy lots of lots of very big complex indeed Oh boy, it almost needs like a film of about 30 minutes or more. If you really want to see everything, this is huge. I don't know what he's doing right now, but we can take a short clip of this as well. Engraving designs of the masjid and perhaps this old masjid we just saw in the other video. And then they sell it over here. Probably not more than, uh, not more than maybe $5 each or something. Not bad at all. They also have like magnets in the back of this so you could probably put it on the fridge. So, yeah, so we can uh, also go inside and see what they have here. Oh, picture frame and the frames. You can put these in the frames. Uh, things, Sufi type art here. These are beautiful indeed. Yeah, from the old Bukhara town. 
Yes, all this. Very pretty. The old Bukhara city. We're based on our genealogy of my family seven generations ago. Our ancestors from my father's side came from Bukhara to India. So, well, in any of the places like this, this probably also has a very Turkish influence to it. The Quran and some of the ancient way of uh, writing the calligraphy and all. And uh, those days were probably different. Yes. Yes, this is a typical Sufi style tasbih or prayer beads. And then you can see all this artwork and paintings from the olden days of the 15, 16, 17, 18, 19th century, etc. Boy, oh boy. Yes. And this is all hand handmade. You know, the calligraphy, the writings and all. So pretty. So because this is like a museum, it says Citadel. So it's not a masjid and it is instead a museum where you pay a ticket. My friend paid, so I have no idea how much the ticket was. Uh, ya Muhammad, it says. Uh, so from there you go on to see a lot of other calligraphy and arts. And ayahs from the Quran. Very pretty indeed. The thing about picture lighting is I've noted that when you take pictures, oh well, in dark places, but perhaps with lights on them or even making them in the night, it has a different uh, look to it and looks more pretty. This is indeed very pretty, very pretty. The way it's written is sometimes hard to uh, detect what it is, but these are all ayahs written in gold partially from the Quran. Yes, and there are tourists, and many of them are actually Oriental tourists here. They come with their own group guide who talks to them in their local languages. And uh, yeah, so they are very, very uh, inquisitive and curious about what's what. This seems to be like a place where you put the mimbar uh, for the imam, but it has become a museum now. Yeah, so this apparently was a masjid then and not in use anymore. Yes. And throughout this big hall, you have different displays of artwork, calligraphy, Nasrum Man Allah wa Fathun Qarib. Yes, many others. Many others from the old times. So, all this is very beautiful indeed. And the different types of Calligraphy and art was is specific to different times and age in Islamic history. And so uh, you have all these different areas where you can go and uh, take pictures. I already did my shopping today, but these are probably the little piece of cloth that you put on the tables, on the dining table or coffee table. Indeed very pretty and they're all handmade. So Yeah, so uh, this is this was the entrance to the room where we went. And this was 
apparently a masjid where actually they don't pray anymore but they have made it into a museum so now we are going to the other side of the museum you see a lot of tourists here as i said oh boy oh boy really huge apparently there was people who used to live here i'm just wondering what the ark here means it's definitely not the ark or arches but the ark no idea our guide was just so sleepy today that i asked him to sleep oh boy look at this yeah the view of the city of bukhara from here you can see the bukhara city this says it was the horse's stable this was the horse's stable right here it says that yeah so from here i'm going to go to the other side of the uh compound and it's called the throne hall hmm. 18th century construction it says with the marble throne it was made in 1669 and here also look at the structures and the designs and the tiles and oh boy oh boy yes very pretty just like the other buildings that we went to and there used to be a throne there it's still probably it's a marble throne it says so uh, there is a like a king's chair or something that people are going there getting their photos made they're holding some kind of a rod in their hand it's a staff that the little kid is holding in his hand and so you could uh, yeah get your photos made there and then take some more look of the uh, architectural and woodcraft and design from this beautiful complex of the uh, 16th, 17th century, 18th century. All these old buildings, they're all several hundred years old. Yeah. So there are some tourists here from different parts, apparently looking like more uh, coming from the far east. Yes. And it makes it very interesting to see that in this country that most people don't know about, you have guests, visitors, and tourists coming from all parts of the world. It's a Mongolian look on the faces of the people. It's a slightly different, uh, you can say that they look different. Uh, like a little bony cheek eyes are also different uh definitely not oriental more uzbek i really like these windows and this is a window and not a door but uh, there is more to it than this you can go up and then it says you can see the history of Bukhara Empire, history of Bukhara Empire, right here, right here, history of Bukhara Emirate. So let's get inside and see what it, what they have to offer and show us. Oh boy, the people, the people and the things here uh, from I don't know when, probably early 1800s, early 1800s. Again, we are back into a museum and uh, showing the history of Bukhara, Bukhara Emirate. Oh boy, this is where you serve the food. 
and the kettle and the uh, uh, other utensils and whatnot. The robe of the, the lady's robe. Hmm, designs for henna and other places and things. And here's the robe for the man of the house or the kings probably. Boy, look at their shoes. It looks like more of a lady shoe. But here is something to put on their head. The headgear. This is pretty. This really is very, very pretty. The one in the middle, I like it. Very pretty. I really like it. Yes, and so is this. Yes, sirree. And here is the throne for the Amir of the time of Bukhara. Amir of Bukhara and his uh, robe. Yes, all these robes for the people and the kings and the emirs and the leaders of the time in Bukhara. Hmm, here is how they used to look like the tradesmen. Selling clothes, carpets, etc. Of that age and era of the early 1800s. Boy. Yes, very pretty. It also seems to have some kind of a Russian touch and influence on these uh, utensils of the time and the dishes and whatnot. So, here is what it used to look like at the time. And what it looks now is slightly different. Maybe, maybe at that time it used to look like this because we did see a minaret outside and a masjid which is not functional anymore. And so some more stuff in the museum. I almost tripped, but these are the, uh, what is it called? We used to call it in Urdu, we call it Rahab, on which you put the Quran to recite the Quran and all these other things of the time and age. Well, I don't know what this is. Well, maybe like uh, something to put for the drinks. So there seems to be like a lot of influence of the Russian uh, culture on the people of the time. Look at the nice hand painting, whoa, really pretty. Yes. Well, this has been a long video, but I hope you enjoyed it. I think there is a little map of the Bukhara city. It's called Bukhoro Shahar, which is the city of Bukhara. And a nice little uh, wear -alls or something for the children is also there. Very pretty indeed. So let's see what this is. We have to go out this way as well. It's very easy to get lost here because there are so many things. A lot of tourists here today as well. Yes, so just a quick look over here. And that's what I like to see here, the bows and the arrows of the time of early 1800s. Boy. Yes. Yes. And some of the remains of the old time. Decorations of the buildings. And uh, other places as well. So with this, I'm going to uh, stop this video uh, because if we take more, it will be very long. So, but here is how it looks like. This is a very uh, three level structure and you can go up and look at more stuff and perhaps the city of Bukhara from the top of this uh, building. Very historic indeed. Thank you for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.